Thanks for uh, watching and listening to this update on the children's work in the church as we come into 2021. By now, uh, you will have heard the news that Babs Watkins, who has worked in our church for seven years, uh, is moving on to serve uh, in the Baptist church in town. For many, that has come as a shock, a surprise, and there's great sadness there. But yet we do believe that God is in this and we do uh, pray for Babs and the Baptist church that the Lord would bless them. And so as we come to the end of the year, uh, we've been looking and praying and thinking and planning for 2021 and looking how do we move forward with our children's ministry uh, in the coming year. Now, first to remind you um, that in terms of our work with under 18s, uh, the Nought to Threes is run by Anthea um, Price and she does a midweek club and a Sunday morning outside of uh, the pandemic obviously but is doing a lot of online work at the moment and our 10 plus work is led by James Sibley and the team the Narnians and so Babs's remit was the uh, four uh, to nines the kind of three to, to tens depending where their school years went and what we traditionally call Sunday school and so today I want to talk about uh, our plans for Sunday school and work with that age group um, in 2021. The first thing to tell you is, uh, excitingly and thankfully, um, a couple have stepped up to become our ministry leads. We're so thankful that uh, Bert and Maria uh, Wienick have stepped up to head up the Sunday School Ministry. Um, actually, when they first uh, came uh, to work in the UK, it was to work amongst children. Both of them are highly qualified and experienced when it comes to working with children. But as well, a lot of what a ministry lead does is coordinate volunteers, look after volunteers ensure that everything is running smoothly and so actually with their background in pastoral ministry and in the work that they've done uh, in different places I am sure that Bert and Maria will be a huge benefit uh, to the church and to the work amongst children and those who do the work so that is something to rejoice and give thanks to God for. And then when it comes to the children's work in the church, uh, in 2021, we want to work from a mission statement. And really, this is a statement for you to understand our passion in children's work and work with young people, to realise and to understand why we do what we do. And hopefully uh, for you to catch the vision and agree with us. So here it is. I think it's a great mission for our children's work. Now, this is our mission for our inward facing children's work. Next year, we'll be uh, revealing a mission for our outward work, our outreach. And we'll be talking about open the book and schools work and holiday clubs and everything else that happens. But today, I just want to share with you how we intend to look after our children uh, in 2021. And here it is for you. So our mission is partnering with families to have fun learning about Jesus from the Bible in a safe place. Let me explain to you what that means. Firstly, we believe that children's work in the church is partnering with families. So you don't outsource children's work uh, to paid professionals or to a pastor. Um, actually, we partner together. And that means two things. Number one, we would love for families to step up where they can to serve in Sunday school, be that regularly in physical Sunday school or regularly in online Sunday school or irregularly, um, perhaps helping us with training once a year or helping us with trips and holiday clubs once or twice a year or praying and can I say I would hope all of us would partner in this praying for the children praying for the children's work team and so we really want to see uh, this year people stepping up everything that we do now will be run on volunteers so if volunteers don't step up then we can't um, provide but as well the partnering means um, that we want to introduce handing to families what children are learning and so we've sourced new Sunday school material we've bought into a three-year curriculum with seeds and um, it used to be called TNT some of you may uh, remember it it's a brilliant Sunday school material which doesn't have books that we have to hand around but it's actually all online which means every uh, Sunday school will be led from a lesson which is available as a PDF as a download and so not only will we give the Sunday school teachers the material we will also send every family the material. One of the things I think we've understood in kind of uh, the pandemic and the blended learning that has happened in schools and in churches is the need to ensure that materials don't just happen in a physical location but are actually given to where people are. So that means that uh, parents
parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, carers, you know what your child is earning in Sunday school. You can talk to them about it because you've got the material. And it also means that if your child can't make it for whatever reason, you can do the Sunday school with them. We really want to partner with families so that these things come together. So really families together with the church family are providing Sunday school. And so that's a very interesting and, and helpful thing. So in the uh, towards the end of the year, we will be beginning a Sunday School Parents WhatsApp group. A Sunday School Parents WhatsApp group where we'll be reminding you of what's happening and we'll also be posting the Sunday School material. So we're partnering with families. Please come and see us if you'd love to step up and serve. We'd, we'd love to have you. And then really central to what we do is to have fun learning about Jesus. Now, this is very important to understand. We don't want to have fun and learn about Jesus. So let's do games and have a great time and <laughs> let's learn about Jesus. But let's have fun learning about Jesus. And when I use the word fun, I don't mean giddy and just kind of light. I mean engaging. We think about learning styles. We think about how different uh, children learn. We engage media and different ways of teaching. And so we want to have fun, engaging ways of teaching about Jesus. Ultimately, we want our children to meet Jesus. Ultimately, we want them to fall in love with him. Ultimately, it's all about him. And so all of our focus will be on Jesus. And how do we do that? from the Bible, from the Bible. Uh, we are an evangelical church. We believe in the centrality of scriptures. And for me, the greatest thing would have children growing up who love Jesus and love his word. And when they read the Bible, they can see Jesus. And as we do that from the Bible, we also want to do it in a safe place. Right in our mission statement is the importance of safeguarding, of ensuring that everything we do is in a safe place. And so we're thank you to, thankful to Becky Beckinsale and others who help us with safeguarding to make sure that everything we do is safe. So that's our mission. So what I'd love for us to do as a church is to pray. Uh, pray for Babs and the Baptist Church that the Lord would bless them. Pray for us as a church that our families would partner, uh, would step up, that those who are serving would find ways to serve. Uh, Sunday school in the new year will be on the first, third and fifth Sunday of the month at three o'clock. First, third and fifth Sunday of the month. And we're looking to make that Sunday school a hybrid, just like our Narnians is, which means that a child can come to the physical Sunday school or they can zoom into that physical Sunday school, which means we'll be looking for Sunday school teachers and leaders who can A, be there physically, but B, if they can't be there physically, can be on the Zoom call. So that when the uh, Sunday school break out into small groups, there will be Sunday school teachers on the Zoom call who can then lead that breakout group. Uh, but there'll be more information about that as the year comes ahead. So thank you for listening to this. Please ask me any questions you have. Um, please encourage Bert and Maria and thank the Lord for them. And we'll talk soon. God bless.